All right, guys, so new information came out for the JP side of Dokkan Battle. We're going to go ahead and cover all the information. First, I'll shout out to the Reddit, of course. Shout out to dbc.space where I'm getting all the card looks and information, all the details about the cards. And shout out to Goresh for the translations. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the cards. As you can see here, we have the new SSR variant of Golden Angel Frieza. He is an intelligence unit. It's actually really, really damn cool. Because he also has his golden form, the regular intelligence golden freezer. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, this is SSR variant. He Dokken awakens into this version of himself. And that's what I have the translation for. So his leader ability is going to be resurrected warriors category units. Key plus three HP up by 130%. And then attack and defense up by 170%. So it's kind of that um, that half Saiyan breed that's going on. But resurrected warriors, that can mean so much i mean almost the entire staff or staff almost the entire character roster of dragon ball z has been resurrected by the dragon balls so are they going to only include those who have halos because there's not enough in the game that i think have halos um or is it going to be so i mean I, I don't know how they're going to go about for this actual category because if you think about it goku has been resurrected krillin's been resurrected master roshi has um i don't yet yeah, tien has uh, Chiao Tzu, Yamcha, Vegeta, everyone has been resurrected by this. So this is this brings a lot into to the question. Uh, I know I saw a post up on the Reddit about LR Broly as well, because Broly is technically, apparently the LR Broly is from the Second Coming movie. And I guess it's technically, I mean, he wasn't really resurrected, but he was resurrected in the sense that he came back after everyone thought he died. But anyway, um, that's a, that's cool. I like that. The fact that he's here, plus on a mono intelligence team, he's going to do really well because on the extreme intelligence team. And I got the kid boo, so when he comes, if I get him, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, anyway, he also does intelligence types, HP attack and defense, plus 50% up. Uh, super attack, great death beam. Deals immense damage and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, proof of wickedness. Supreme enemies, I'm sorry, super enemies and allies and all outweigh. Uh, proof of Wickedness, uh, super enemies and all allies attack plus 15% down and own attack plus 150% up and defense 50% up. Wow. Wow, that's insane. So all allies is attack minus 15% regardless of who the hell's next to you. And he boosts his own attack by 150%. <laughs> that's freaking insane. Uh -huh. Link skills are Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent. Revival, Strongest Clan in Space, Tournament of Power, and Brutal Beatdown. It's actually going to be interesting to see who he links with. Uh, maybe it's just anyone with a Revival link set. Maybe that's what that means. Um, extra 12 key multiplier is 150%, which is pretty damn cool. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We're going to talk about the Strength Golden Frieza. Um, this is his SR variant. We're not going to go ahead and talk about that. Uh, this is really cool. I like the card. This is actually going to be grindable, farmable from the event that is out for him it should be out um i i saw a post about it not being here but he's going to be farmable from this event and he's going to doken with metals most likely from that event into golden angel freezes so he has a farmable super attack it's probably going to be a pain in the ass to grind it but um so, uh, ssr golden freezes strength the 10th warrior of universe 7 leader skill strength types key plus two extreme types hp attack and defense plus 40 percent up so that's interesting i don't know if they're going to do a like um, <clears throat> uh, like a, a, a strength extreme type type thing, or just strength in general gets two, and then extreme types. That's really interesting if they do that type of a leader skill where it's two separate types of leader abilities. Anyway, um, super attack, Emperor's Death Beam, deals supreme damage to the enemy, increases attack for three turns. Not horrible, actually. Passive skill, display of frustration. Attack and defense plus 40% up, and if there are two or more enemies, key plus four and attack plus 40% up. So he's almost never going to be viable because of that, because unless you're taking him against like some stupid mission on the side, you're probably never going to have an, uh, have that secondary part of that passive go off. Link skills, Prodigy is Universe's Most Malevolent, Revival, Strongest Clan in Space, Nightmare, Brutal Beatdown, Tournament of Power. That's actually a freaking really nice Link skill set. It's actually, you know what kind of sucks? The uh, Intelligence one from what I'm reading here does not have Nightmare. I feel like he should have had that. Anyway... Cool card, he's farmable. He's actually going to be pretty damn decent if you are a newer player. He does um, supreme damage, so I mean, hell, on a mono strength team, he's going to do pretty well. And I think actually that means he he's going to be available 
for the LR Goku event if you already haven't done so and got, gotten the card. Uh, for stage 4, which is a physical type stage, you can use him. Anyway, uh, next one is going to be the SR Ultimate Gohan, a new resolve. Leader ability is agility types key plus 1, super agility types HP attack and defense plus 20%. So that's actually pretty cool the way that they are doing that. I mean, the leader still, still kind of sucks, but... Um, for what they're doing with it, making it super explicit so that way you can get all three different uh, stats, uh, it's actually awesome. Super attack, super Kamehameha, deals extreme damage to the enemy and raises attack. I wonder if he is going to be a, just a summonable unit or if he's going to be available in the actual event, I don't know. Um, if so, if he's going to be available just from summons, I mean, that makes Ultimate Gohan even more summon formable. Uh, let's see, passive skill, focusing on the wall that should be overcome. Attack plus 40% up, and key plus 3 when HP is 50% or above. Not great, but not horrible for an SR unit. Uh, link skills are same warrior race, in fighter shocking speed. Power bestowed by God, Kamehameha, and Tournament of Power. Eh, not bad. I, I like him. I like Ultimate Gohan. De you know, he's decent in terms of who I think he is as a character. Um, I, I'm definitely more of a Frieza, Vegeta fan, um, and Piccolo. So... But overall, you know, not a bad unit at all, especially for an SR. Now, we also have two more to go through. This one is going to be the SSR variant of... Well, not variant. He's going to be base form Angel Golden Frieza. So this is another character. Leader ability is going to be Resurrected Warriors category. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%. So he's like a, a miniature version of the Intelligence Golden Frieza, which is key plus 3, HP attack. Yeah, you know. Um, he is super attack is Death Ball, deals extreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack. Passive skill is 24 hour condition. For 7 turns from the start of the battle, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 50% up. Not horrible. Um, I feel like the attack and defense maybe should have been like 60 or 70% up for an SR, uh, especially because he's only dealing extreme damage, unless he's like farmable. If he's going to be farmable from this stage, then I can see it being a little bit better. Plus, if he is farmable, by the way, guys, um, that means. That the gold, the, not the golden, the angel freezer that was available during the two year anniversary. I think it was, um, uh, they, they had some event that went on with the two year anniversary where you can get golden Frieza um, or the super Kaioken Goku. So he's going to be good to get that super attack up if you haven't already done so already. Uh, overall, not a bad unit. I like him. Link skills are prodigies. Universe is most malevolent. Revival, strongest clan in space. Brutal beatdown and tournament of power. So I like him. I, I'm a, like I said, Frieza fan, so I would like to get him. Um, oh, before we go into urine, <laughs> urine, um, isn't that, like, the skull in the background, isn't that from one of the androids, um, that was created in the original Dragon Ball, uh, the big machine gunner that fought up against Goku, and I think Balmo was there, when they were in the underwater cave going up against General Blue, I believe it was, that's what that skull looks like, I don't know why that's there, it's kind of odd that they actually have that along with Sad Frieza, um, anyway, <laughs> uh, urine, here we go. Uh, urine is going to be leader skill peachy peachy girl category units key plus one HP attack and defense plus 20% up So she's gonna be a decent leader for that category Super attack is black magic deals supreme damage to the enemy with rare chance to stun Passive skill talisman filled with a grudge key plus three and attack enemies attack and defense minus 15% with a medium chance to stun and link skills are going to be battlefield diva crane school coward infighter and brainiacs so, actually kind of really interesting, is I guess she... Oh yeah, this is the one that was, um... It's, it's just really weird to me, because this came before the Tournament of Power. I guess when they were looking for, uh... uh TN, this is when she actually made her debut in the actual series. Uh, but I guess she got Crane School. I thought that... I mean, I, maybe I didn't... I don't remember what it was, but I think she had a grudge against TN. But I think she also had a thing for him. But, I don't know, weird. Anyway, overall... These are pretty damn nice units. I really like them. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the Freezes. I can't wait for them to come. I can't wait for him to actually start having more relevant characters again. He hasn't had a really good character since... Well, the tech one isn't really too horrible because, I mean, he does do a lot of damage and he the, uh, blocks hits like crazy. But it's been a while since they actually did a Freeze. I'm waiting for another full power Freeze. God damn it, give us another full, po full power Freeze. Um, uh, one other thing that's just, that I just wanted to cover real quick. Uh, Japan 12 events. The Dragon Ball Super Anime campaign is here. So, from September 29th to the 24th, you get login bonuses, Dragon Ball Super Sale, 29th to the 24th, that you're probably gonna get the dailies. Uh, Doken Fest for the Golden Angel Frieza event, 29th to the 11th. Uh, story event extra stages will be added to the current universe, Arc Survival confirmed that new characters will be added, if not sure if they're farmable. So, that's gonna be happening at some point for that story event. 
gotcha for Resurrected Warriors category. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be part of the Dokken Fest. Story Event Return, Resurrection of uh, F Returns. That's pretty cool, actually. If you guys don't know Resurrection of F, you can grind out the medals from that event. And those medals can be used to do uh, Dokken Awaken the Intelligence Mecha Freezer that's farmable from the Strike event. And then it turns into Golden Freezer. So any of your Golden Freezers can have their Super Attack raised up to Super Attack 10 by doing that. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Universe 6 Saga Story Event Returns. The Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks Saga Story Event Returns. That's good for farming the Super Attack of Trunks, obviously. Uh, more Kaioshin missions will be added for Area 7 through 9. Potential orb stages will be open, guaranteed appearance of the secret ch uh, character. So that's awesome. That means you're always going to have a secondary character, which is like, it's not what the global side does. So if you're a global player like I am, um, essentially the JP side has a rare chance or has a chance to have a secondary character. We just get it by default um, in every single battle. And two-time rank experience, which kind of sucks unless you're like really, really brand new and fresh. Um, let's see, outside of that... Uh, new stage drops, Strength Angel Freeze that Dokens into his Golden Angel form, we know that. Virtual Dokken Battlefield is under adjustment, They'll be that should be coming back though. Uh, I already told you guys about the LR Broly, that might be coming back. And you can purchase the Battlefield medals now inside the Baba Shop, I think you could only buy like one or two at a time, um, or maybe just one. Uh, I don't know if it, it's actually like unlimited or not, it looks like you can only buy two of them. But anyway guys! That's it. That was, I know that was a little bit long ramble. I kind of got relaxed in that whole conversation right there. I'm hitting the 13 minute mark, about the 13 minute mark right now. So thank you for joining me here today. Hope that was informative of you. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Appreciate you taking the time to come by and watch my video. I'll catch you guys down in the comments below. You guys have a good weekend because I will not be around back until Sunday.